Niner Nation, Kathleen Cook here with a part of our women's tennis team. They just wrapped up the most successful season in nearly 30 years, so we wanted to catch up with what happened this season. So we'll start with you guys. You guys were, this is your first season here at Charlotte. What made you guys want to come back to Charlotte for you and come to Charlotte for you to coach? Well, for me, that's a really easy question. Uh, I had an amazing experience here. Loved every minute I had here, uh, and it's kind of a dream come true to come back and coach at your old school so <laughs> to coach at Charlotte has also sort of been a goal of mine um, I have family here and I've really fallen in love with the city over the last uh, eight years and um, you know the facilities are beautiful the city has everything you need uh, so when it opened and I had the opportunity I feel very lucky to be here and what did you guys implement in the fall season that led to a lot of success for you guys in the spring? Uh, I think these guys can vouch for us that we did a lot of fitness <laughs> and uh, that was an area that we felt we could target. Um, we came in and, and thought that was something that we could really focus on uh, to see improvement and it definitely worked and, and then our doubles, we focused a ton on doubles and specific tactics and the ideas what we wanted to implement in a match. and. Um, Think that paid off you know we got very confident and we always looked like we felt like we could win the doubles and that helped us so much yeah what uh you know what anthony said i think that we were really fortunate that the girls immediately bought in um, at first they might have been shocked at um, the amount of fitness that we incorporated but they bought in and pretty quickly saw the results and that you know of course that helps with the belief and the confidence down the stretch and what were those expectations for you guys heading into the spring season? Well, heading into the spring season, I think we had high expectations. We'd seen how much this team had progressed in three or four months. Um, they'd shown us that they were all extremely talented players and uh, it was more excitement. You know, I kind of think we all thought the sky was the limit. We knew that we could have a great season. Uh, I don't think any of us are that shocked that we had a great season. It's almost more that we feel as though we earned it and we deserved it. Yeah, I think um, that's exactly right. And also, like I said before, um, incorporating the fitness and really having the con that having the confidence in the preparation through the fall was huge going into the spring. Um, you know, we still had a lot of close matches and we were able to flip some of those and I think largely due to the confidence in the preparation in the fitness level and being able to outlast and outwork um, opponents, which it, when it's, you know, a close match, that's what it comes down to. And, and then they started to believe more and more and um, stepped up in the big moments and, you know, that changes the season completely. And talk about you two as new coaches. What did it mean to have two really strong senior leaders to work with and to guide the team? Yeah, these two have been amazing. We uh, we told them how important they were going to be from day one, and we told them some of the expectations and how we needed them to be, and they met all of those expectations. And although it wasn't easy day in day out, they they definitely uh, earned everything they 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 got this year. And and we love them, and we wish they weren't leaving. But uh, we want to thank them for everything, that's for sure. And then going back to what you were saying earlier about how this was your alma mater, what does it mean for you to be able to return here and then also bring with you so much success? Um, yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot. It feels really special. And um, I think these guys can see when I'm pacing around the court and uh, <laughs> nervous every time they're playing that it does mean a lot to me. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just think it's extra special, and um, I think these guys can, you know, see that and um, make ho hopefully it makes them buy in all that, all that little bit more, and uh, it's just going to continue that way. I really want success here, and uh, just as much as these guys, and um, we're going to keep going and keep getting after it. What were y'all's first impressions of the new coaches? Well, I personally was extremely excited. I. I felt like it was great um, to have like a fresh, kind of like a fresh start. Um, we had, I knew we had such great talent in our team and so much potential and just bringing in like new coaches that had like a great background and great experience. Like I was so excited and ready to put in work and I knew that 
we were going to be successful just because we were so close last year and just like by the amount of work that we were doing it was just like ine- inevitable to just like jump some levels up and do better as a team um going off of what Pietri said like we are such a talented team and everything and like we all worked hard we all want to be successful and i think having the new like Brooke and Coach Anthony come in, I think it was really good, and I think they helped us become more successful. They pushed us to our li- like limits in a way, but they also like they helped us reach our goals. And I mean, I think the team next year is going to be amazing. I think they're going to be even more successful. And I think it was nice to have a fresh start. It was needed. We all wanted to win, and I think having someone with good background who had such high expectations of us and saw our talent, I think that was great to bring in. Um, yeah, pretty much what um, other girls were saying that we did have um, like pretty good expectations about what would happen, just knowing that um, we did have a tough year previously and years before where we felt like we had the talent, just not quite reaching the goals we had set out every year. So. Um, just having a fresh set of eyes to kind of see um, like what we needed, having a good shove uh, when necessary, which was good for us. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. I think we exceeded any expectation I could have had um, coming off with new coaches. So it's been a good year. And talk us through what were those first team meetings like when you're learning their new coaching style and getting to know them? Um, okay, first, so first team meeting was good. It was like, oh, well, we just really talked through everything um, about uh, problems that we felt like we had in years past, um, things that we thought we could improve on as a team, um, like our team culture, um, like things we felt like we needed in fitness and individually. Um, so I felt like that set a good bar of knowing exactly what expectations that were set um, for us as a team. As far as us coming out every day, giving it, um, giving it our all, and um, putting in the necessary work, so I felt like the first team meetings um, really just st- was a good start for us. I mean, basically what Ty said. I mean, our team meetings are about our goals, or like we're setting standards, basically, and the expectations we all had, what we had to work on, our team culture. So basically. I think the first team meetings basically set a standard as to what we wanted to achieve. And there was that was like our foundation for the rest of the year. I mean, I agree with Ty and Sash, basically. Um, I, le- I mean, at least for me, I could definitely tell there was gonna be a big difference in our year, like from the first meeting, and knew that we were gonna have to put way more work than we did, but I feel like it was much needed. And it just kind of, it was cool also to see like our first meeting and all we talked about. And then we basically accomplished almost everything when we talked about it in the last meeting. So it was just nice to see that we actually like accomplished what we talked about in the first meeting. And Sasha, this one's mainly for you, but everyone else feel free to chime in if you guys want to. How do you feel like your personal success in the fall helped you how did you springboard that into the spring season the fall I think it kind of set a foundation for me as to like how hard I had to work to be successful in the spring and it kind of we trained we trained extremely hard it was different it was nothing nothing I was used to and I think that led to me being successful in the fall and also bringing it into the spring I mean I was injured for about two months I wasn't playing but I had like mentally I wanted to play I wanted to win and I wanted to work hard so I think how well I did in the fall before I kind of stopped playing really motivated me to want to work hard in the spring and be as successful and everything so yeah how key were those early matches that you guys played on the road to places like UNC Clemson to building up your team's confidence early in the season I think the first couple of matches were key because we were able to see early on, like, wow, like, we can compete. Like, we're here. Like, these teams should be scared of us. So especially, like, winning the doubles point at Clemson, like, we were able to see how well our doubles was progressing. 
um, which is really important for college tennis. So um, then from then on, it was like, well, if we can compete with them, like we can compete with anybody else that's on our schedule. So it was like we came off with no fear. Um, but all we had to do was just continue to believe that we could compete and but not take it as too big of a high to say that, okay, yeah, like we were there, but that, that's still not good enough. Like we eventually want to be able to come off with wins, um, with multiple wins um, off top teams in the Power Five school. So um, it was like a good starting point. So um, I would say that led, I think that helped lead to um, the rest of our success for the year. Basically what Ty said, um, I think it kind of made us realize that we're right there. And I think being so close kind of helped our confidence go up for the rest of the season and realize that we can compete, like Ty said as well, that we can compete with anyone and whoever and we can be just as good or even better. Yeah, I think we knew that those first two matches, like on paper, were going to be our toughest ones. And going in there, like me and Saj had never really played <clears throat> doubles together. And we had a match points against UNC. We beat a team against, like, a, from Clemson, saved two match points. Like, the other girls also saved match points, and we ended up winning. Um, and I don't know, in my head, that was kind of like, in my head, I was like, if like if we can beat these teams, we can beat every single other team that we play in this season. So I definitely think that, and the girls, all, everybody kind of bought into that as well. And we all knew that there's no reason for us to not expect to win against any other team since we, we have, like, a, we could put up a fight or even, like, if we worked hard, we could definitely beat those teams. Like, it's realistic and we shouldn't be scared or, like, doubt ourselves. And Ty, you are just talking about how the doubles point was also important. How did winning the doubles point and on numerous occasions also help build up your confidence as a team leading into the individual matches? Um, it was key to go in um, winning a doubles point, um, already going up 1-0. So, um, yeah, it did help a lot. And if you, I feel like once we played well in doubles and then once we go out for singles, we kind of had that same mentality where – we do this for the team. Like you're, even though you're on your court by yourself, you're still fighting as hard as you can to make sure that you get to four first. Um, so I felt like we had worked really hard on doubles this year for that reason, and um, it definitely paid off. You were one half of the nationally ranked doubles pair, and that was the first time I believe since 2012 that we had a nationally ranked doubles pair. What does that mean to you to be a part of that? Um, it means a lot. Um, as I mean, so we had like a really tough year. I think last year um, to then come in and be able to do that well in doubles, and it wasn't like we didn't even know of the possibility of for us getting ranked. So that made it even more special um, to know that we had worked. I mean, really hard in our doubles and to finish off um, as a team and to say that you know we were able to be ranked and. Um, so it was really fun, especially with, to do it with Emmy. And I just love playing with Emmy. So it was a really special moment when, especially since we're a roommate, she tapped me first. She's like, oh my God, Ty, look, 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 we're right. So we had a little celebration in our living room. So it was really special to have that. Um, I'll definitely remember that forever. Um, what does it mean for you guys as coaches to have on your team a nationally ranked doubles pair? I think it shows, you know, all the work that we've put in. We were all so happy for Emmy and for Ty, um, you know, Ty's senior year to, to be ranked. It's, you know, she's put the work in and really deserved it, um, and Emmy too. But as a team, I mean, I think it's shown how far we've come and that when you work hard and you work smart, um, it pays off. Um, they deserved every ounce of credit that they got. Um, so, and it was just proud for us, proud moment for the program. Talk about, she's not here, but Roe had a successful season, just named an all-conference player. Um, what does it mean to have a nut, nut, so many successful players, but a player like Roe on the team? Yeah, well, there was success from all of our players this year. Um, and Roe had standout results, especially in this uh, spring, uh, breaking the win record. And 
she deserves a lot of credit. She's someone that comes out every single day and no matter what we're doing, puts in 100%. She's com com completely committed to the cause and uh, she loves it. You know, she absolutely loves it. Uh, but I can say the same thing for each of these guys as well. Um, she fought through some really tough matches and had the uh, had the results to show. So we're really proud of her and um, she's going to be pushing on next year to hopefully get that singles ranking as well. And um, she's going to be really important for us. So we're excited that she's coming back for another two years for sure. Among the accolades that you guys racked up this year, you were undefeated at home. What does it mean for you guys, especially as seniors, to go out with such a strong showing on your home court? Um, yeah, that's definitely special to defend your home courts that way because um, these courts are so special that we I mean, we're on them all the time. feels like we're here every single day putting in so much work and then to have that same success um, here at home with um, – our friends and um, and Niner Nation watching, so that's definitely special. Um, have to have those memories of like we've never lost here for our senior year. So um, yeah, it's definitely special. Being undefeated at home is extremely special, especially as a senior, um, because this is my second home. This is where I practice. This is where my second family is. So it's kind of nice to be undefeated and represent our home course and represent Charlotte as a school and just, I think it's just, it's just special. P, what does it mean for you? You're obviously not graduating, so you've got another season coming up. What are you going to take away from this past spring to bring into a whole new season? Well, obviously we're going to miss Ty and Sash a lot, but, um, I think going into the second year, we already, or at least like the returners, um, we already went through the hard training, so we know what to expect. And I think it's going to be obviously still really tough um, with the, all the fitness and all the training, but we're already going to have that like expectation and know what the standard is and know um, how hard we have to train to you know, go to the next level. And we're bringing in two like really good players next year and they are also like all in and we're just really excited and I think with all the experience that we got this year and all the results we know that going into next year we can do even better and just keep breaking records and do hopefully win conference like out that's the dream of course like winning conference my senior year like I think we can definitely do that if we keep working hard. And then coaches, you guys have one year now officially under your belt. What are you guys going to take from this past year going forward with the program? We're going to definitely build on what we've what we've created already. Um, all the positives, you know, we're going to reinforce them uh, for sure. Uh, and obviously there's a few little things that we've seen throughout the year that we can get better on there's always things that you can improve upon and me and Brooke are going to sit down and go over those those things and devise a way to to get better we're always going to be trying to improve but I think we're we're really proud of what we've done this year um, these guys should be incredibly proud of themselves and um, yeah we're just going to keep building and keep trying to get better and stronger and fitter and healthier and better at doubles Thanks for tuning in. While we're definitely going to miss Ty and Sasha, be sure to come out and support Charlotte Women's Tennis next year.